Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video is another episode of Fix Your Wix, a series where we take one of your websites and we redesign the homepage for fun and educational purposes. Now, if you would like to participate in a future episode of this series, there's gonna be a link in the description to an application to fill out and we'll be in touch if yours gets chosen. Now for today's video, we're gonna be redesigning the homepage for a local butcher shop and deli. Now, what I will say about this website is the header isn't very clear. And even though I've already designed the header, we'll be making it look a lot better. Secondly, you know, we have welcome to 640 meets, which isn't a very clear idea of what the company offers. Their menu button is kind of hidden in this picture. I didn't even see it the first several times I went to the website. Their images seem to be a little bit lower quality. Down here, the copy is basically the same as it was up here, but we're gonna be redesigning the website and making it look a little bit more professional and I guess modern. And I think this website looks really, really cool. Let's go ahead and get started. So just to kind of cover the header real quick, I have one strip up here. I made it the kind of accent color and then I put the address and phone number. Then the main header, I split it into three different columns. The middle has the logo. And then over here we have the menu and catering. And over here on the right, we have about and contact. That's kind of the header that we went with with the website. And the footer is kind of just basic. It has their logo, socials, and their contact and hours. So it's a little basic, but I think it will be perfect for this type of website. Now for the hero section, I kind of, when I split it into two different sections, I kind of want some text and then below to be a large image. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to add. We'll go ahead and add some text here. Now I want this to be like this font right here. It's called vast shadow regular, and we're going to make it around 60. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in some text here. Now this text that I got, was basically what I got from their website right here, independent locally owned butcher shop and deli. So that's kind of what we used here. And we're just going to center this up and we'll make it wide enough to where they kind of all fit onto three lines like this. We'll make sure it's centered. And in these settings for this, we're gonna go down to character and line spacing and we'll adjust the line spacing and bring it up a little bit just like that. Great. Now I'm gonna expand this section down a little bit to give us a little bit more room to work with. But the next thing I want to add is going to just be a paragraph field. We'll make it around this size. We'll center it, We'll bring it right underneath it. I'm gonna copy and paste some text into here for now. But we're gonna center this text up We'll change the color to like a, a lighter color, but not too light. And we're going to change the text to a font called Carolite. I think that looks really, really good. Great. And we'll bring it up a little bit more. I'm going to bring the section down just a smidge. And we're going to come over to add, and we're going to add two buttons. So we're going to come over to buttons, and we'll drag this one out right here. Now, I want this button to be like, 200 pixels in width and then 70 in height. And they are running some Easter specials. So I think right here, it would be nice to have kind of like their call to action for the Easter specials. Then I'm gonna add another button. And this one's gonna be their normal menu. So once again, we'll make it the same size. We'll change the text to view menu. And we want these to be like lined up together with maybe like 20 pixels of spacing. We'll group these together and we'll center it just like that. And we'll bring it up a little bit. Fantastic. Now we'll grab all of these elements together, group them, make sure it's centered. And then we will bring up this section to right about here. I think that looks really good. Now the next section that we will have is just gonna be a giant image. So once again, we'll add a section, we'll make it blank. And let's make this, let's see what 600 looks like. I think that looks fine. 
We'll change the section background to an image. And I just found this image right here that I think would look nice. Next, we're gonna to come to background scroll effects and add parallax. So now we should have something that looks like this, which looks really good. Now the next section we're gonna have is gonna kind of talk about their story. We're gonna add a blank section. Let's go ahead and make this pretty large for now. What I want to do is come over here, we'll grab both the heading text and the paragraph, we'll copy it, and then we'll paste it down below. Put it right about here. For this text, we will say, our story. For this text, we can expand it out just a little bit. And we'll make sure it's centered. And then I want to add a video. So we're gonna come down to add video and we'll say video box. Make this video just a little bit wider than the text. Right there. And we'll change the video to their video. I'm gonna add a little bit more space down below this. And now we can go ahead and begin working on the next section. So this next section is going to kind of talk about their butcher, and then the following section is gonna talk about their deli. So let's go ahead and add a blank section. With this section, let's make it like 600 pixels. Uh, we'll try 700 pixels in height. We're gonna add a strip to it. So we'll go to add strip. We'll bring this out just like this. We'll send it to the top and we'll make it the same height as the background. Now we'll change the strip background to have no opacity because we don't want it to have a color. Then since it's a strip, we can actually add columns. So we'll come over to layout and press add columns. Then we'll go back into layout so we can kind of adjust it. Now what I want to do here is do a 4060 and we're gonna reverse the layout. So that way we can put text over here because we have more space and then an image over here. So what I want to do first is I'm gonna grab both of these, bring them down into the strip and press paste. Then I'm going to resize it and kind of place it inside the strip because sometimes when you copy and paste elements, they don't paste exactly where you want them to paste. But what I'm gonna do is left align this heading text and we'll lower the size to like 42. And we'll change the text to your friendly butcher. Then with this text, this paragraph text, we'll align it to the left. We'll put it right underneath the heading. We'll grab both of these, group them together and we'll align it to the middle. Now for this right column, like I said before, we're gonna just add a background image. And once we have one chosen, of course, we'll go ahead and add parallax to it. Now what I want to do is come over to this section. We'll copy and paste it. Then we'll grab the strip. We'll say manage columns. And we'll reverse the layout just like that. And then for this text right here, we'll say daily deli, and we'll center this text. Then we'll change the background image here. I'll just choose an image of a sandwich for now, and we'll make sure it has parallax. Great. Now, in between these sections, I do kind of want there to be a little bit of space. So we're gonna add a section, make it blank, and we'll make this section height maybe like 120 pixels. Maybe we'll see 150, that looks fine. Then we'll copy and paste it, and we'll paste it right below the last section. And let's copy and paste it two more times real quick, just so we have a spacer above and a spacer below, and this one will be our final section. So as this is our final section, 
Let's give us some room to work with. We'll make it 600 for now. And all I really want to do in this is kind of create like a little gallery with repeaters of different images. So we can, we can use a gallery if we want to. Actually, yeah, let's actually go ahead and do that. We'll actually choose a gallery. When this gallery loads, let's go ahead and stretch it. But we'll add like 100 pixels of margin Then let's go to manage media. We'll select all and delete all of the kind of default images and then we'll add our own. Okay, and we can go ahead and press done. Now in the settings for this, we're gonna come over to layout, press customize layout. We'll go ahead and leave it as crop. Images per row, let's set this to four spacing between them let's let's try 50 pixels then once we're done designing the gallery we can go ahead and move it to the top and we can remove the height from this section so now if we go ahead and preview the website here's what the new 6040 meets website would look like But that's basically going to wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.